Welcome to Socrates. This is the only fully functioning artificial intelligence system in the world which is monitoring the global economy. We are tracking everything from capital flows, currency markets, bond markets, equity markets, commodities, uh, in every currency globally. It, the computer by itself writes over a thousand reports every day. This is a major breakthrough because it is the same system that is being used and once you're aware of how to use Socrates, you do not have to learn something different for each analyst that you listen to. This is covering the entire world. So you can understand the system and then you can look at it from India uh, to <clears throat> London to New York, Tokyo, Beijing, whatever you want. You can see the entire world at a glance. We provide a market list that you can see all the world's stock markets, bond markets, interest rates, and even real estate. So welcome to Socrates. This is really the 21st century way of analysis. Here on the main page you can see our global capital flow heat map. This is showing you where capital is moving into and where it's fleeing from on a global scale. Now what is the importance of this? Therefore you can take a look at those particular markets, your stock market, real estate, etc. where you're seeing capital moving from as well as going in. Where is it going into that particular sector within that country? Is it the stock market, the bond market, real estate, commodities? This is basically our heat map which identifies what regions you should be looking at. Then we can go up and look at all the different markets, agriculture, bonds, energy, ETFs, Forex, gold stocks, metals, mining, real estate, stock indexes. When we look at the more detailed view, here is all world stock markets being covered. Now these are some basic index we have that we've created just on the food sector. Uh, a paradigm shift, in other words, what uh, sort of markets are coming up at this point in time with this capital flow shift. Um, our war index, that is basically stocks that would benefit from geopolitical events. Now when we go into individual countries, you can see it's broken down into Americas. Uh, we can look here all the countries that are represented all the way through in the U.S. you'll see S&P 100, 500, um, the VIX index, gold silver ratios, uh, gold Dow ratio, uh, futures, uh, etc. And then you can go down and see the NASDAQ. We basically have covered everything. Russell's um, <clears throat> Then we turn to Asia, we see Australia is all well covered, China, both Shanghai and Shenzhen, Hong Kong, uh, we can see over here India is covered, Indonesia, and we turn down to Europe. We have Austria, Belgium, uh, basic Croatia, Cyprus, Egypt, all the way down. Uh, you can see all the various different uh, Europe uh, indexes, France, CAC 40s, German DAX uh, versus uh, also the, the price index um, on the DAX, Greece, I mean we've Iceland, uh, we've covered just about everything we can you know <clears throat> possibly think of at this stage in the game. Um, Switzerland, Turkey, um, London, uh, we have global indexes at this stage. Now if we wanted to 
look at these you can see the computer is providing a, a comment um, for example turning to the upside for Germany a reaction high in Greece caution approaching a high uh, turning back down knee-jerk reaction it's giving you a, a glimpse just a, a short little comment on what that is looking at and you know, we have <clears throat> when it's all green like this basically it's saying it's still moving up when it's red it's basically moving down okay so we can see what the market is done this is your open your high your low your close the change and basically <clears throat> All your you know various different comments for these particular markets that are coming up so we can look at these things and see uh, basically see all the red so you see you see which ones are going down which ones are going up and this is very important from a, a standpoint of being able to look at the world at a at a glance and just see okay fine how's everything doing uh, if everything's all red and everything's green you, we begin to see where we're going you can click on <coughs> uh, particular markets and here is the the dashboard view here we get uh, an overview a <coughs> summary of the analysis that this is all written entirely by the computer giving support resistance um, the risk ratios going uh, up and down um, basically everything that we can see here uh, that you want to look at or it's taking Dow Jones for example uh, looking at it in terms of all other currencies so we provide an awful lot of information here uh, we can look at the computer will do some technical analysis autom automatically this will give timing arrays when things are actually looking uh, to make highs and lows and turning points um, we can look at this this is daily here's a weekly monthly on the higher levels of, of pro versions and um, business versions and you can go all the way up to, to yearly uh, so here is basically everything we have a, a an overview analysis provided here you can then look at um, each individual uh, market for example here is a, a monthly part now I can click on that we'll come all the way up I can do technical analysis D for draw okay M to mark this high M again to mark this high and we'll draw a line and will tell me mathematically where that line actually is now there are all sorts of different studies that um, we have available you can <clears throat> look at you know as I said the cycle arrays you can switch the currencies all right so I say okay fine select the currency what's the Dow look like uh, in euro okay or what's it look like <clears throat> in Indian rupees so it's will take whatever market you're looking at and put it in your home currency so you can see are you really making highs in your currency versus just the nominal amount so everything you you see here we have stochastics available uh, <clears throat> our energy models then this here is a map basically showing you <clears throat> that this particular instrument being the Dow where is it going up and where is it down in those currencies so this is a very broad extreme world view and you can analyze this in every which way possible so I can do the 
bring it down to the weekly daily and it will <clears throat> also write uh, reports on these very different various different levels so this is the daily report so if I go back and say okay <clears throat> give me the weekly this will write just <clears throat> what the market looks like from a weekly overview so you can focus on short term long term I mean here's monthly again this is just the monthly review so everything is analyzed on all time levels you can analyze it in various different currencies from around the world and we have over a thousand markets that you can look at so I hope this gives you a good preview of what the basic level of Socrates is available for the average public thank you